Okay, so today we're going to be covering something a little bit more complex than installing Firefox, for example. Today we're going to be talking about installing the popular code editor, Visual Studio Code. However, we're going to be using the open source version of this that doesn't have the Microsoft telemetry data and other reports to Microsoft included, and this is called VS Codium. So to get started, we're going to first open up Firefox, and we're just going to search for VS Codium. And the very first result is what we want. It's this GitHub repository that contains the binary builds for VS Code without the Microsoft telemetry data. Now, we could just install from the binary sources that they have pre-compiled. That's fine. It's a very easy way to do it. You would just download the deb file for elementary, and you'd be all set to go. However, that would mean installing a new version every time there is a new release, and Linux has better ways to do this built in with package managers. And we want to utilize that functionality. And if we look here in this documentation, we can see that there's actually a section dedicated to this. And there's actually a, another repository, if we follow this link here, that has a repository for these binaries set up so we get automatic updates. And here is the install instructions for this. And one thing we're going to have to do is add a GPG key, which is a method of validating the code comes from the source that we think it does. So we're gonna open up a terminal and we're going to need to follow these commands here but um, we may not have this command, this apt key add, because elementary OS by default is kind of more locked down and they don't include some of these tools by default. So if you haven't already done this, you're going to need to install something called software properties common. And that's pretty simple. So as always, we're going to do an app get update to make sure that everything is up to date and that we have the latest version of software available to us. And once those packages are done reading, we're going to then do a sudo apt-get install. And this is called software properties common. And I already have it installed, so I don't need to do that. But if you didn't have it installed, you just hit yes and let that process. And once that's finished, you now have access to APT key. So it's always a good idea to not just run commands straight from a text source online. You don't generally want to just copy paste and run blindly. And in fact, if you do, the elementary OS terminal will actually warn you about doing so. So we're actually going to take a look at this first um, before we just blindly accept what is coming from this. So bear with me as I type this out. Now, as you can see, I'm not doing the rest of this command because I want to download this first. Oh, got a little typo. That should be an O, not a zero. Uh, and we can see from the output, this is indeed a PGP key. And that is exactly what we want. So now if we just hit the up arrow, we bring the rest of that command back. And now we can do the rest of this app key add. And we're piping this, that's what that line is. We're piping the output of this wget command to our apt key command, and we're adding it. And this little dash just means we're reading it from uh, input instead of like a file. So when we hit enter, it just says OK. So that means we have this apt key added to our list of trusted uh, sources now. And so now we need to go about adding the actual repository. And I'm going to resize my terminal here so I can see what's going on a little bit better. And I'll even um, increase the size of this so it's a little bit easier to read. 
But so what we're going to do is we're going to add this repository so that we can install it just with command line. And you can see here, this is the actual source right here. Uh, so if we don't want to just blindly trust their text, what we can do is come in here and actually edit this file ourselves. So uh, we are still going to have to do a sudo because this file is right protected by default. So we're going to do sudo. I'm just going to use nano um, because it's rather easy to navigate and I don't want to get into a Vim tutorial on this at the same time. So we're open this file up and this already has a lot of sources and we're just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom because this is less important than everything else in this list. And you can type this out manually if you want. Um, in fact, I'd recommend that for the first couple times you do this, but we're, we can just hit paste or in the terminal, you can hit control shift V and that will paste it in. This dollar sign that you see here at the left side of my line indicates that there's more text to the left. So if we scroll over here, uh, this line will then fill and the dollar sign again indicates that there's more over there to the right. So now that we've put that in, uh, we can add a comment if you want so that we know what this is. And then we're just going to hit Control O to write the file and Control X to get out of it. And now that we've added that, we need to once again update our list of sources. And now that we've done that, we can simply run apt-get install vs codium. And it'll go out and get all the dependencies and download it for us. And now if we open up our applications menu and start typing, you see that we don't have a result for Visual Studio Code because again, that's not what we actually installed. However, if we type in VS, we get our VS Codium, which is what we opened. And if we open it, we get pretty much exactly what you would expect out of a normal Visual Studio Code install. This just doesn't have the default Microsoft telemetry data installed. It's the truly open source version of this. And since we added it with a package manager, we'll get automatic updates. And once again, I always like to have this kind of thing pinned to my dock. So I'm going to pin it and I'm going to move it over close to my terminal because those two make sense to me to have grouped close together. And that's it. Now we have it. And we can close that out and it's always just right there ready for us. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.